Hello there, in this video I'm going to talk about a couple of little bits of kit that I've bought for my MineLab e-track from a company called protectors.co.uk The link will be in the description here Firstly there's a control box cover which is weatherproof so if it rains when I'm out the brain inside here doesn't get wet which is very very important The second part of this kit is this cover here which goes over the handle and up the stem and it also covers over where the battery goes actually talking of batteries this is actually a battery case so you can carry a spare battery with you now one of the things that's been leveled at mine lab machines is that the new ones are a little bit heavy compared to a lot of people's machines so why would you want to add more weight well I'll tell you in a wee while. It is actually a good idea. So really the first thing to ask is, do these products actually work? Do they keep the rain out? Yes, they do. Plus this handle cover also stops the spongy grip becoming all ingrained with muck. Because when you have plenty of digs during the day, especially in wet conditions, you're bound to carry some muck on your hands and transfer it to the handle. This is a very nice material that this is made of and it just wipes clean. I've actually had these for quite a while now and you can see just how clean they still are. I literally just come home, wipe them with a cloth and they're as good as new. Now this control cover is a really good tight fit which means that the screen cover is actually stretched right across the screen. There's no rippling which means that on a day like this when it's reasonably bright you can still see the screen you don't have to take this cover off I actually had one previous to this and I couldn't use it in bright weather because I just couldn't see what was happening on the screen I'll turn it on let you have a look I'll just zoom in on that there you go you can see the reading there depth gauge discrimination pattern pretty clear definitely better than the last one I had so this overall excellent now I mentioned before that this handle cover has a little compartment here for your spare battery and batteries by the very design weigh quite a bit so by adding this on top of the, the already considerable weight especially if you're using a big coil like I tend to on pasture land I would think that would make it even heavier to swing and you'd end up being absolutely knackered by the end of your hunt. But it actually makes it lighter to use, which is strange. I mean, I can't tell you exactly why that is. I'm not a scientist or an engineer, but I think it has something to do with the balance of weight. When you're using a big coil, it's very bottom heavy. So you're constantly having to fight against gravity to lift it up. And what Adam a little bit more weight to the upper part of the stem does it distributes the weight better because you're actually holding onto the machine here this is your access point before all the weight was at the bottom end now by adding more weight here it makes the machine better balanced it does actually make it better to use. Uh, it seems strange and totally counterintuitive, but it actually does. It makes it nicer to use. I think probably next on my list of purchases from this particular company will be one of the harnesses that they do. It actually removes a lot of the weight from your arm, apparently. I'd like to give that a try. Because even with the redistributed weight, it is quite heavy. I mean, I'm, you know, reasonably strong. I would hate to think of an old fella wielding this big machine. I don't think he'd last very long. So, an overall score for the control cover and the handle and stem cover. Uh, actually, before I give it overall score, I'd just like to point out that they're both a very tight fit. Which makes fitting them a little bit tricky, especially this. I didn't realise I had to actually take this part of the handle off to get it on, but once it's on, it's an absolutely perfect fit. And because it's tight, anything that's underneath here isn't going to wear if this wasn't as tight 
it would constantly be wearing against the metal that's under here, the foam handle, and you'd end up probably doing your machine more harm than good. So overall, considering the price, this is about 16 quid, anywhere between 18 and 19 quid. It's not much to pay when you've spent the best part of 1100 quid on a machine. This protects it very, very well. Build quality good. I would give them both 10 out of 10. No problem at all. If you fancy buying these for your machine, these particular ones fit all the FBS Mine Lab machines, Safari, Quat Rose, etc. etc. Um, but they also do covers and accessories for a host of other machines. They're a really great company. Build quality, excellent, 10 out of 10. No qualms in recommending them. Click the link below, go to the store, check them out. Thanks for watching.